what's up welcome back to my channel it's your girl runa it's been a while i know it's foundation friday i have a little bit of foundation already on my face um i just wanted to come in here and start filming these videos i am in the process of redoing my room so you're gonna see a lot of lights in the background hopefully i will be able to be a lot more professional and more youtuber-ish and have a better background but anyways today i want to talk to you guys about the laura Mercier foundation this is the tinted moisturizer it's a natural skin perfector it's not even really considered a foundation it's considered a tinted moisturizer this is a I think this is $47 and it is from, this is $47 you guys and it's the shade Tawny 4W1. I did get this in PR, I just want you guys to know I do get a lot of Laura Mercier PR, but always my opinions are always 100% my own. So I don't want you to feel like I'm lying to you, I never do. Even though I don't know why I always justify myself, but we keep it real here, I don't care what people think about me. I keep it real, your money matters to me, right? So anyways, um, I'm not a big tinted moisturizer fan, but I wanted to test it out because it is a new formula. It's an oil-free formula, which I'm here for. I don't like the price, it's $47. $47 is a lot for a foundation, in my opinion, especially if it's a tinted moisturizer. It's not even in the foundation range, but it's a tinted moisturizer and it has a cult following everyone swears by it. you have another foundation called the flawless lumiere this is more of their full coverage foundation if you guys ever want me to like do a compa comparison of them too i can totally do it for you guys i'm gonna put on the tinted moisturizer with a brush today and i'm not gonna use a beauty blender because i feel like the tinted moisturizer is such a sheer coverage that you i tend to use beauty blenders when i'm gonna use a full coverage foundation and i want the full coverage to not be so cakey so i like to use a damp beauty blender but i don't feel like you need that with this foundation it's not even a foundation tinted moisturizer um i did put on some blurring primer i think when you're going to use a tinted moisturizer it's good to use a primer that is gonna smooth your like it's gonna give you a I think it's good to use a primer that's gonna give you a smoothing effect. So I use the Laura Mercier Blurring Primer. I really like that combination. I already have this on the skin, but I wanna show you guys anyways. Okay, I got some dried up things on my... So I'm gonna say compared to the original formula, and I will do a comparison for you guys. If you guys want that, let me know in the comment section but compared to their original formula this is a lot a lot a lot more um i feel thicker and creamier and i want to say the coverage is a little bit better with this one so i'm here for it it's definitely not going to coverage like if you have redness or if you have any like imperfections you feel are your imperfections some people don't need to cover their imperfections they don't want to so if you're okay with your imperfections or whatever you feel if you don't even think they're imperfections then you don't have to cover it but i guess the beauty industry has taught us that there are certain imperfections we should or should not cover i don't know what who created that standard but i mean there's a standard out there. Since quarantine, I'm a little bit lighter and um, a lot of the brands, this is set in PR, they don't know that I got lighter, so they just send me my color that I've had on file. But I think I'm always two different colors because this is like really dark on me, I feel. Um, but yes, this feels very foundation-ish. Let me get a mirror. Wow, I'm impressed. I have never been impressed by this tinted moisturizer in my life but i'm actually impressed by it i'm super super impressed by it i think it's actually really really nice it gives you a really nice natural coverage if i would say a dupe to this would be the maybelline fit me matte poreless I would say that is a dupe to a $47 tinted moisturizer. They have the same coverage, the same vibe. I do feel like wearing a blurring primer underneath this does make a difference. Um, it also matters what primer. So if you're going to do a tinted moisturizer and you have dry skin, I wouldn't recommend you to wear a hydrating foundation, um, a hydrating primer. I would recommend you to wear a blurring primer um, with a tinted moisturizer since you don't want to like overly moisturize your face because then it's just going to feel really, really, um, what What's it called what's it called it's gonna feel really really oily <laughs> impression i'm gonna say i really like this i'm gonna complete my whole face and then i'll re be right back to give you like like my impressions on how product sits on it so that's another thing with tinted moisturizers sometimes products do not sit well on tinted moisturizer all right guys 
So I officially have on the tinted moisturizer. It has been about like an hour and I fully did like my full face. I did use a cream bronzer today and it did blend really, really well. I feel like I have a medium coverage foundation. Although this says it's light coverage and sheer coverage, I feel like it was medium coverage. It's definitely different than the original one. I feel like I always had a hard time with the original one because I felt like it was always really, really oily for me. So I was never, I would never gravitate towards that one. And I don't like anything when it's too oily, even though I have dry skin, but you know what I mean. Anyways, coverage is beautiful. It puts on product really nicely. It's a very everyday foundation, well, tinted moisturizer. It doesn't feel as moisturizing, maybe because it's oil-free, but I also put on a blurring primer, so that could be it. It does feel a little bit drier. Personally, I think if you're someone who's really into just light, sheer coverage every day, then that tinted moisturizer is great for you. I'm going to wear it for the whole day and see how it lasts on my face. Personally, I would just rather just do like the whole like a more dewy foundation, maybe even a hydrating foundation like the Fenty Beauty. Hydrating foundation is really, really good. I would probably go for that or maybe a glowy foundation because I do like foundation. But if you don't like foundation, this may be for you. So I'm gonna wear it the whole day and then I'll let you guys know. Had on the foundation for about two hours now. This is a sunlight view of it, natural light. As you can tell, the coloring is pretty good. I think I really like this. I did not think I was going to like it as much. But update, I think with this oil-free formula, you can actually just use a moisturizing primer, any primer you want to use, um, it because it's not as oily. With the original formula, I feel like I always had to use a more blurring, mattifying primer. But with this one, you could just use any primer. And um, now I can kind of understand. The only thing I will say, I don't like how it doesn't conceal these corners for me. I do have dark spots in the corners of my lips and then I have a little discoloration in my chin area. So it doesn't cover it as much, but it's not even a, that noticeable. Um, it looks really nice and I'm here for it. Wow, for an everyday foundation, I might be okay with this. Or like no makeup days, maybe. Okay guys, so I am very impressed by this tinted moisturizer. Guys, it looks really good. Look at how, let me do up close. Like, I can't believe this is a tinted moisturizer. It's very skin-like, but in a good way. It's flawless. I really like it. I am excited to just wash my face because I know I'm not going to have to do a ton of removal of stuff. Um, it's just going to be like a simple wipe it off. I am going to actually wear this more throughout the week maybe for a month test it out i will eventually have a speed product review where i kind of like do a to be continued to be continued product reviews of like what i've been testing out and if i've ended up liking it or not but yeah um i'm gonna call it a night first impressions wear tests i will say this is a total 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 purchase i love it i didn't even touch up I would say the corners are pretty, like, they erase after 12 hours because I've worn this for 12 hours. But other than that, this is a great foundation. Well, tinted moisturizer. Um, thank you guys. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.